The Alchemical Vessel exhibition came about two years ago, and our executive director and myself, Shanti Norris, we, we were trying to come up with an exhibition that more directly engaged local artists in our deeper mission, which was addressing the healing arts and sort of bringing it to light in a very tangible way so that people began to understand more of our community work. We wanted to give all the artists an identical starting point. But yet the image ha or the, the object had to be symbolic of the deeper work that we do here because we see Smith Center as an alchemical vessel of sorts. The physical space is a container where healing and transformation can take place. Individuals with cancer or recently diagnosed with cancer come to us with their pains and their fears and hopefully with our guidance and assistance we can assist them in transforming those base materials into hope and healing. So that's sort of the symbolism of the bowl itself. However, when you hand it over to 125 different artists, it's this blank, blank space. It's an emptiness, and the, and we're at, we're asking them to fill it with their stories and bring, and bring themselves into the dialogue. This show differs in that we sort of step out of the curatorial um, place. We invite others to, like I said, I keep saying, tell their stories. We're we're merely lending our white walls and our vessel of sorts. The gallery is a vessel, and we're saying fill it. And, and it's 125 different fascinating stories and different approaches to the same exact canvas. And so we're stepping back, and we're saying this is your space. It's about community, and it, it's up to you to sort of tell the story. You walk in, and it almost looks like a kaleidoscope or this quilt of just you know, 125 different patches and people telling totally different stories that I, I want to isolate each one in its own exhibit, you know, and, and you hear each artist talk about their piece and it's, that could be another exhibit. I mean, I'm just sort of, every time I talk to them, I want to think of the next show. Uh, my name is Jeremy Flick and uh, the title of my bowl is um, Contrapuntal Vessel and I used acrylic paint. A lot of what I do as a painter is take a blank, uh, commonplace, uh, surface and then uh, apply um, yeah, apply a vision uh, to it uh, typically um, in most of my recent work I've been using uh, patterns that I've been uh, researching and discovering online and other various sources so uh, the process began uh, by going through my archive of patterns and, and trying to find one that would complement and work well with the bowl. I wanted to approach it with an awareness of what what it means to create an alchemical vessel, um, the symbolism um, behind it, and so I wanted to be very conscious of that and, and what the benefit is for. My name is Barbara Frank. And uh, the materials I use, I call it mixed media, but it's, um, I used acrylic paint and um, the aluminum leaf was applied and uh, a, a power drill. So I told a friend of mine who's a Cherokee Indian about the bowl, and she said it reminded her of a story of, uh, she said a lot of Native American tribes bury pottery, which they crack before they do it. They break it into pieces and they bury the pottery with the dead. And that she had, that some of them drill a hole into the pottery. Well, isn't that interesting that I've come, I've come to a place um, in my failed process to create something that has these ancient references. My name is Monica Jahan Bose. The bowl is called Core, and I used a hand-built porcelain, which is a type of clay, and graphite pencil and acrylic paint. I, I learned that I, you know, um, that I enjoy uh, doing something different. I had never, I've been, I've been working in various materials, but I've never used a, a pre-made um, thrown bowl before in my, in my process. And um, it was nice to uh, be given this challenge to work in a different way. And instead of using... Um, a canvas or paper. Uh, I was given this rounded shape to work with, and I actually I learned that um, I enjoy being challenged and, and trying new things. 
Well, I have been very, um, I have been very much, um, you know, inspired by this this space by Smith Center and its mission for a long time. And I actually was um, helped put together a show here last year with with the um, gallery gallery director Brooks Adelman. And so I was really pleased um, to be asked to um, be part of this show. Um, and uh, I mean, I definitely, you know, feel like I'm a part of this, this, uh, the mission of this uh, institution as it is. So um, I was very, you know, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a big leap for me, and I was very happy to be, to be part of this. My name is Anne Bowie. The name of the bowl is Transformation, and the materials are beads and mortar. I learned that how powerful this symbol of transmutation and transformation is for me in my life and how I really have experienced it personally uh, up close. Um, so those were things that I learned and uh, appreciated about the process. So um, my personal story is about accepting change and about recognizing signs and accepting those and asking for guidance and asking for support and learning how to accept a port, support. I've gotten incredible nurture and support from the artistic community because it's my tribe. It's my tribe. Uh, I'm Nicole Salambeni, and my bowl is called Grace. And the materials are, uh, I used smoke from matches, so kind of the fire and smoke from the matches and a canvas, um, thread, gold tape, uh, paint, glue, wood. <laughs> I was thinking about Zach, you know, who was my friend's son. He was five years old at the time that she passed away. And he had, you know, when I checked on him, he was, you know, and asking him how he was doing, he said this remark about, you know, well, I'm like a bruise. So I was like, you bruise? And he said, yeah, I'm like a bruise. You know how a bruise, it gets darker and darker before it gets lighter and lighter? Well, I'm, getting, I'm still getting darker. You know, when I got the bowl, it was like, this is the story, right? This is, this is what's happened. This is what's happened in my life over and over and over again. You know, it is that how, you know, I'm showing that in that process. It's, it's like Zach's description. The fire looks like bruising. You know, it has that, that dark to light. You know, when you burn something, it, it starts out black, right? At, you know, or it's yellow and then it's black. It, I mean, it kind of goes through the same process of the bruise, visual, you know, visually, that's what it looks like. And, um, and so I, I was, you know, so it kept, you know, it was like, well, this is actually, you know, this is, this, that is the story. This is just a nice, uh, a nice project. I'm very honored to be a part of this. There's a lot of great artists in the show um, that I know locally and, and some that I'll get to meet at the opening, which I'm excited to do as well. Uh, my name is Matt Ciso, and my bowl is called a Ciso bowl. Um, I used uh, acrylic and Krylon. Uh, acrylic spray over it. I, I guess you know what I learned. Another thing is just that I really enjoy the the quietness of, of sitting with a with a sculpture or like the bowl and just where usually I'm used to painting standing up and being very aggressive and listening to a lot of music and you know maybe getting a little crazy. Um, the bowl I had to be gentle with it. I couldn't you know I had to be careful not to first off break it, but there, you know that it was a process that needed. Um, certain steps to ensure that the, the paint would dry correctly and, you know, in a proper process. So it was, it was a much different um, kind of process than what I'm used to with, with actually doing paintings. I'm Dana Ellen. My bowl is entitled Look Me in the Eye and Tell Me I'm Delicious. And it's uh, just acrylic paint. The biggest challenge I found was the technical challenge of just painting on this surface, of painting something concave uh, and and getting you know getting your hand in there, so it was more of a technical challenge to me than anything. You know, I've painted, so it's a pig that I have in in the painting, and 
I've painted this pig a few times. I've painted lots of pigs. I know I can paint a pig, and it was still made it challenging just to paint this pig on a non-flat surface. And then wrapping the text around it, too, was, was uh, probably the harder part. I learned that everything doesn't have to be really elaborate all the time. I think my simple solution to this project was the right thing. Again, I can tend to go overboard. I can truly, not even tend, I always overthink things. <laughs> and so I'm really pleased that I, I solved the, for me, everything is a, a problem to solve, a, a task to complete. So for me, it was like, all right, I have a bowl, I have a blank canvas, how am I going to solve this? I am Maria Lana Queen. The name of my bowl is Spiritual DNA. The materials that I use are the actual porcelain bowl itself, acrylic, canvas, found objects, and paper. I am a self-taught artist and um, I started painting through a healing process. And so this has now sort of elevated my attention to thinking out of the box, not necessarily being comfortable with one particular medium, but um, understanding that art is about sharing your presence, um, your soul, your experience uh, with others and enabling others to appreciate that because they may walk in your shoes. I thought I had learned everything about myself prior to this process because I'd gone through a healing process in myself um, with the death of my brother. And um, so with this process, I sort of revisited that um, late nights, early mornings, trying to understand, well, what is the actual transformation process consist of in a healing process? And I revisited that 10 years later, even after I, I, I felt that I had healed. Um, what the um, meaning was is that you never actually heal, but you move forward. And you rely on the strength of, um, well, in, in my case, this is a spiritual DNA titled vessel. You rely on a high be higher being. I'm Lorianne Books. The name of my bowl is Event Horizon, and I used acrylic paint and charcoal to make the vessel. My work incorporates text um, with acrylic painting, texting charcoal, and I like the fact that charcoal is a dusty process and then we can kind of erase it and move it around with our hands. Um, I try to reveal some words, but not every word in the pieces. I want them to have some mystery, and I also want them to have meaning for the viewer. Um, my stories, of course, are my stories and they're personal, but you may have the same types of stories, so I want viewers to to come to my work and feel like I'm telling their stories or that their stories are s significant. Um, I believe we're put here for a reason and to interact with other people and to help make their lives richer as well as our own. And I hope this comes through in my work. My name is Barbara Johnson. The name of my bowl is Numa and the materials used are graphite and acrylic paint. Because of my own bent as an artist and art educator, um, I, you know, I can't rest without putting in a, um, a plug for creating oneself. And that um, I just wanna urge everyone, um, whether you consider yourself an artist or not, particularly if you don't, um, to reassess that definition. And you become completely yourself and completely more than yourself. It's very much like meditation and yoga and all of these things that are becoming more um, popular in our culture. Uh, they're all very physical. And, and art, uh, with the right teacher and intention, um, or experience is really not any different from those other things that you really can use it as a process for centering and calming and um, and grounding yourself and a little bit of escape and a little bit of like tar like drilling into the core um, so I urge people to to um, to allow yourselves uh, the opportunity to, to to play with art materials.